Hey guys, welcome to Flight Top King. Hey, today we're stuffing peppers with that leftover brisket. You guys stay tuned. All right, so you made your big brisket, and if you're anything like us, it just goes so far from what you think that it would, right? You've got leftovers all the time. I showed you the breakfast sandwich with the bagels. Absolutely phenomenal. I think one of my favorite things to make leftover with brisket. Here's my second way. We call it, I don't know really what you call it. We stuff peppers, we put them back on the grill, we smoke them, but we fill them with leftover brisket. I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. So let's just say we're gonna call this, just for giggles, fajita style stuffed brisket. smoked peppers with brisket. That's a mouthful, right? But it's really, really good. All right, just in a skillet. All I did was cube up some brisket and add your traditional Mexican seasonings. Add a little taco seasoning, some um, chili powder, some cumin, some paprika, some garlic powder, and just let that brisket come up at a temperature and absorbs all those flavors, okay? In another skillet, all I did was blister some tomatoes. I cut them, added salt and pepper only, and cooked them to where they had a char on them, and this is the end result. Same thing with this, salt and pepper only, some caramelized onions, and then this right here. It seems thick like a ketchup, but this is enchilada sauce that I've taken straight from a can. It's my favorite enchilada sauce, the only one I really like. And I've reduced it by about, by about a third, okay? Any more just becomes like gummy and pasty. But all I do is just reduce it down. I'm gonna show you why. Let's go to the second step. Second step is the cheese mixture. Dang, these flies are having a heyday. Some traditional shredded cheese. We've got some cream cheese, some green chilies, and cilantro, okay? Our grill's getting hot. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Let's get these peppers stuffed. All right, I've already got some peppers done. I've set those to the side. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Find a side that your pepper rolls naturally and it's nice and flat, okay? Then cut the tops off of that like that. So you only wanna cut like a third off. Obviously, the less you cut, the more you can stuff, okay? Just like that, okay? Go in, deseed it. Just be careful. You don't cut all the way through the pepper. Just take the seeds out. And I'm not really worried about the inside of the veins, the white stuff and all that. Just get all the seeds out. We've got several of them done. All right, so with our cheese mixture, I've got about, I don't know, what do you think that is? About half a cup of just rough chopped cilantro. I love it. You guys can add it, substitute it, do whatever. Can of green chilies. And I'm gonna go in here with about a cup of cheese. A little bit more. Now, if you got extra mixture, you can always save it. All right, let's just get this mixed up. Real good. All right, so let's just combine all the ingredients to stuff our peppers. Caramelized onions, come in here with those tomatoes, and that brisket. Ooh, mm. look at that. Okay. The reason why I didn't add peppers to this, because obviously we're stuffing peppers, but you're more than welcome to add some peppers like you would a fajita mix. Okay, just like that. Now, at this point, if your mixture was drier than what you think it should be, you can always add a little enchilada sauce to it. But as you guys can see, it's pretty juicy. So let's build them. Take your mixture. You don't want to overstuff them. Remember that cheese is going on there too. Just push them down. And fill them up. I'm just gonna come back in here and just top them just lightly with that enchilada sauce. See how much the difference is when you reduce it down? Just makes it a little bit thicker so it's just not running everywhere. Don't need a lot. Okay. And now for those beginners out there, how do you reduce that down? I just put it into a, uh, a small little saute pan um, and just basically to put it on medium, let it boil, keep stirring it and stirring it. And you're going to notice that, that it gets really, really, really bubbly. And then the thicker it gets, the less bubbly it gets because there's it's 
viscosity is a lot thicker and you just keep reducing and reducing, and keep stirring it. And then once you get it to where it's like a good, I would say like a good ketchup, then just take it off the heat, let it cool. And of course, once it cools, it's gonna thicken as well. Come back to our cheese mixture. God, it already looks good, honey. It's not even cooked yet. All we have to do is cook the exterior pepper till tender. And two, all we have to do is just make sure the cheese is melted, which should not be a problem. Just for some extra goodies, right before you put it on the grill, go and just top it off real quick, just for a little goody goody. All right, the grill's pretty hot, which is fine. Just set it right there. I got all my charcoal moved to the side. I put a block of hickory on there. That's the same type of uh, wood that we use while we were smoking the brisket. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. Woo. All right guys, they've been cooking about six or seven minutes. You can see the top of the cheese is starting to melt. So just to keep your cheese moist and keep all that moisture in there from the peppers, just go ahead and cover it lightly. Be careful, don't burn yourself, it's hot. Put it back on there, let it go. See that right there? Mm. You guys just want to make sure that you cook them until your peppers are tender. If you want to get fancy, just take a spoonful of that enchilada sauce. Nice little dollop of sour cream. You can garnish it with more cilantro, anything you want. Let's cut it into it, see what we got here. That's good. The pepper held all that juice. You know this is gonna be hot as can be. Actually, it's low carb, right? Yep. Easy peasy. Takes a great leftover item and just changes up a little bit. And that's what we're about, taking flavors from here and going to there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Smoked brisket, fajita, peppers with enchilada sauce. Huge name, even bigger flavors.